Hi, I'm Esther Jones and I've been working as a hypnobirthing practitioner since 2007. And today I'm going to talk about four practices for preparing for childbirth that can be easily incorporated into the busiest of days. So I remember my first pregnancy very well because I seem to have so much time. So after work, I'd go for a swim or I'd do a pregnancy yoga class or if I was very tired, I'd just take a nap on the sofa. And my partner and I even went away for a couple of lazy weekends to the mountains just to really relax. Of course, my second and third pregnancies were absolutely nothing like that at all. I had other children to look after and I rarely had a spare hour to prepare for my next birth. So luckily, the experience of my first birth really helped me to understand that the most important preparation that we can do for birth doesn't take a couple of free hours. The most important things we can do can be easily incorporated into any busy day. So if you're working, if you have all the children to look after, or you just have a really busy life, here are some things that you can do to get your mind in the right place for birth and just a few minutes each day. So first of all is breathing. Learning to use your breath effectively is really key for a calm labour. When we're anxious or scared, our breathing tends to get very shallow and to quicken. And this is our sympathetic nervous system switching on and preparing us for fight or flight. So when we give birth, it's really important that we are able to stay in our calm zone, the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is where our bodies are relaxed and they're really in an optimal state for childbirth. So whenever you feel any stress during your day, just use this as an opportunity to practice calming your nervous system. So you can use the hypnobirthing calm breath. And this is a breath where we breathe into the count of four. So it's a slow breath into four and then a breath out to the count of eight. So we're always breathing in and out through the nose. And when you breathe in, you imagine yourself breathing in relaxation. And when you breathe out, you imagine yourself breathing out any stress, any tension, just directing it all the way down through the body. And notice how your body really calms down when you use this long out breath. So take every opportunity you can to reconnect with your breath, learning how to use it as your number one tool. So just use it to leave your busy mind behind and to sink down into your body. Next we have affirmations. So you can watch the video on affirmations to hear the ones that I usually use in my courses. And of course, you can create your own affirmations. And these are a wonderful way to keep your mind in a calm, fear-free place. And to just really give yourself a little injection of confidence, a little boost of confidence during the day. You can say them out loud to yourself in the mirror in the morning or recite them in the car on the way to work if you drive. Also print them out, carry them around, and whenever you have a little moment during the day, just take them out, read through them, and find yourself feeling ready for anything. Uh, third, we have visualizations. So our bodies respond to our thoughts just as they would to real life action. And if a thought is accompanied by an image, then it's even more powerful. So create some lovely visualizations around your birth and really bring them to life through your day. And you can feel how these visualizations affect your emotions and how your body feels when you use them. So for example, you could be imagining yourself in labor, feeling very confident in your birthing space, rising and falling with the surges. Or it could simply be an image in which you are strong and empowered, capable of anything. Or perhaps it's you, radiant and holding your newborn baby in your arms. And finally, watching our thoughts. So to stay calm and relaxed during childbirth means trusting ourselves and it means trusting our bodies. So as you go about your day to day, just see what thoughts arise in your mind about you, about your body, about the birth. And are they helpful thoughts that leave you feeling happy and empowered? Or are they thoughts that create anxiety and doubt? And if that's the case, just do the simple mind mindfulness technique of noticing how these thoughts feel in your body. So are your shoulders tense? Have you suddenly got butterflies in your tummy? Just stay with your body and observe what happens when you have that particular thought. 
And then using an affirmation or a visualization, whatever you want, just replace that intrusive thought with a new intentional thought. And as you do this more and more, you're going to get used to noticing how these different thoughts trigger different responses in the body. So there are some ideas of different ways that you can be preparing your mind for birth, even when you can't seem to find much time. <laughs>